the game to win we aim to make it in there's no place i've been you can't get to win a twin it puts a grin above my chin like an act of sin so bring all of your friends and let's go for a spin it's some machinery very fine indeed that's capable of dropping anything you need on a runway no longer than 800 feet and taking off again to repeat the feat low and slow that is the tempo plenty of room for a tall fo designed in downsview toronto to take you anywhere that you need to go De Havilland's the name, the whole lineup is game From the beaver to the otter to the buffalo insane Without getting too technical, I think I should explain That it gives me an when I think about this plane The power plants are PT-627 For a mechanic, that shit is heaven They come apart quick to check the hot section And the cows come down easy for a visual inspection Made in Canada by people who know That an engine needs to start at 40 below And when it comes to the Arctic, the best way to go Is a free turbine with a back-to-front flow See, the gas generator turns at crazy speeds Compressing the air and as it does it heats So you get the hot air when you open the bleeds Straight from the valve located in P3 Oh, when I should mention the rotational speed of those compressors is quite impressive indeed I had to do the math and it took some checking But they turn around 600 revolutions per second To the combustion chamber the air gets sent And fuel gets added in precise percents It's an annular plenum with a burning ring of fire The source of the horsepower that takes us higher And in case of very wet or bumpy conditions We keep the fire burning with manual ignition And as it expands at a fantastic rate It hits a turbine which is attached straight to those fast turning compressors that I mentioned earlier in a chain reaction making them even whirlier but the air's not done it's got more to do it powers not just one turbine but two you see another turbine is just an inch or two later behind a vinyl set of stainless steel stators and this one is the source for the power for the prop that's short for propeller it's a word that's been chopped in half like a melon just like this invention with both halves rotating in different directions so we win an engine without gyro procession for under a mill that's a steel i should mention arrived at the power turbine C, which turns the propeller through a planetary gear, which reduces the rate of spin to a speed more normal for a propeller to spin in. These babies three bladed, constant speed, Hartzell HCB 3TN 3D, fully feathering and reversing, with three kinds of governors governing. The blades sweep five feet above the ground, so they don't catch debris as they go round. And it's quite pleasing, I have found, to hear the wah-wah-wah-wah beta range sound. And the rest of the gas from the ring of combustion comes out of the stacks, pointed back for some thrust. And in fact, 80 horsepower of thrust is produced by the gases that exit each engine unused. Have you ever heard about the tortoise and the hare? Because I heard a lot of talk about the new King Air. I heard she's a banger, but she's always in the hangar. And if it's kind of snowy, then you can't go there. Twin auto so solid that it just ain't fair. Maintenance will attest she's a breeze to repair. King Air has them all tearing out their hair. Too closely cowl, no room to spare. It's not a bad plane, quite the contrary. Fly looking, ride and fast, yes, very. Climbs high, goes far, but check my query. Would you not prefer a plane that's legendary? I think I said enough to fill your brain with plenty of stuff about this plane. I hope you understand just what I'm saying. The twin is Superman and I'm Lois Lane. She carries me up like you wouldn't believe, like Christopher Reeve with a dove on his sleeve. Or was that Charlie Sheen in a Top Gun spoof? I'm gonna quote MCA, I'm gonna finish on boot. Transform.